Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a parallax effect to your background image in your Blogger website. So this is a theme that comes by default with Blogger called Contempo. And uh, we can see that we have this uh, background image over here. And when we scroll down, the image goes up. Now when we add the parallax effect, the scroll speed of the image and the other elements will be different. So when we scroll down, the image will move slower and all the other elements will move faster. So in this way, you can have kind of a 3D effect for your website. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Let's get started. Now this is the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, in the theme, if we go, we can see that this is the Contempo theme. We have a lot of variations of this theme. And the one that I'm using is this one right here. So we can see that we have this background image and then we have this content over here. So we have this theme right here. Now for making things easier, we'll be using a library called StellarJS. So just Google for StellarJS and you'll find this website for the library. So this is the first link in the result. So just click on that. I'll leave the link of this library in the description of this video. So here we can see we have StellarJS and uh, it says Parallax has never been easier. So it's really easy. You can uh, add Parallax uh, using a couple of lines of code in your um, website. And then it says that you need to add simple data attributes to your markup. And then you can run Stellar and the Parallax effect will be added. Now for this uh, library to work, we need to have jQuery in our website. So if you don't already have jQuery, then you have to add jQuery to your website. So let's go back to our uh, dashboard and uh, let's click on this arrow over here inside theme and uh, then click on edit HTML. And uh, let's add the CDN for uh, jQuery and also StellarJS. So here I have just searched for StellarJS CDN and you can find this link of cdnjs.com. So here we can see the same link of uh, this library. So this is the library that we want. So let's go ahead and copy this link from here. So I'll just click on copy URL. And I'll go over here to theme code. And uh, let's go to the end of our theme code. And here just before the body ends, I'll just add a script tag. And here I will just type SRC and uh, here we'll paste the link. So this is the link for the Stellar Min.js. Now we also need the CDN of jQuery. So let's go back to CDN.js and here we'll just search for jQuery. Now by default it shows you the latest version of jQuery which is 3.6.0 at this moment. But I tried this version and it didn't work. So we need to have version 1 or 2 of jQuery for Stellar.js to work. So let's click on this versions and uh, let's select version 2. All right, now let's copy this uh, link from here, jQuery min.js. And uh, we will add uh, a script tag above this. And src equals the link of the jQuery library. All right, so we have added the link of the jQuery and also Stellar min.js. Now let's go ahead and write the code for the parallax. So let's go back to Stellar.js and let's click on docs. Now here we have some information on how to use this. So let me just go ahead and find out the code that we need. So if you go over here to our website and right click over here and click on inspect. And let's see whether this is an image tag or a division. So let's go to I think it is the BG photo container and we can see that we have this division with the class of BG photo and in that we have this CSS property background image and there we have the URL of the image. So we don't have an IMG tag. We have a division and then we have the background image over here. So let's take a look at the code that we need for that. So if we scroll down and we can see we have this option called parallax backgrounds. So it says, if you want an element's background image to reposition on scroll, simply add the following attribute. 
so this is what we need we have a division and uh, in that we have a background image and we want to reposition uh, the background image so for that we have to add this attribute called data stellar background ratio and we have to set it to some value over here so let me just copy this from here and let's go back to our code now if you go back to our uh, inspector here we can see that uh, we have this division with the class of bg photo so let's target that and let's add an attribute called data stellar background ratio so here uh, I'll just create a script tag now since we have the jQuery library already added over here we can just use this shortcut called dollar symbol and uh, in parenthesis you can just type the name of the class so here I'll just type dot bg photo so this will target the bg photo class and to add an attribute you have to type dot attr and here you have to add the attribute name and the value so the attribute name is uh, data stellar background ratio that we just copied and then we need to have the value so we we'll just add value of 0 0.5 now let's go back to stellar.js documentation and uh, let's scroll down and uh, here we can see it says dollar stellar and uh, we can add the horizontal offset and a vertical offset so let's copy this code from here and paste it right here and we don't need the vertical offset so I'll just remove that right so now let's go ahead and click on save and see whether it works so update has been successful now let's go back to our website and let's refresh our page and let's scroll down and uh, here we can see that we have this parallax effect and we can see that the background image scrolls slower than all the other elements and we have this parallax effect so that's basically how you add a parallax effect to your blogger theme now you can go ahead and change this image if you want so to change the image you have to go back to the theme so let's go back so here you have to go to the theme option and then click on customize and here we can see we have the option of background image you can click on change image and choose any image from here so there are a lot of awesome images over here you can go to different categories and search the images that you want or if you have an image of your own you can just click on upload image and upload the image that you want I'll just select an image from here so let's select science and uh, let's select this image right here and click on done All right so let's click on save and let's refresh our page and here we can see we have this uh, different background image and when we scroll down we have the parallax effect so that's basically how you add a parallax effect to your custom background image in your blogger theme called contempo now you can use this same method to add parallax to different images anywhere on your website so you just have to get the class name or the ID name of uh, the image and then just go to this uh, stellar JS documentation and uh, look for the code that you need so in our case we had used this parallax background code from here you can go ahead and check out the other options over here so there are some customizations that you can do using this library so you can check them out so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day